finally got her mom to be in a video. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> it's only taken well, I'm, I'm nine just, years. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just the neighbor lady. <laughs> I think. Lies! This slug is gonna be gone in no time. We we'll be able to focus soon and actually film a video, but we're just, we need, we need to get oh, this out of our system. I, I tell you, you know, I told her I would not do the video unless I could play first, because, <laughs> you know, I have this strong... It's a bribe! This is my mom, Barbara, and I finally forced her to be in a video. I feel like I'm in a parade. No, you gotta go do the yeah. elbow, elbow, wrist, yeah. wrist, kiss, kiss. Remember? An elbow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Do you see where I get it from? Mom, what are you playing? I'm playing this. Best Fiends. Best Fiends. It's called Best Fiends. Best Fiends. <laughs> of course. Is there... She didn't know the name. She just knew it was like the guys with the slug thing. They're trying to kill the slugs. Yeah, because- this Do you is... hear that bird? This is fun. This is kind of like- No, do you hear that bird? Loud. Look at it, so angry. Basically how the game works is that you have to match items to send to the fiends so you can attack the slugs. So you have all these cute little fiends that are characters and you attack the slugs with your items. It's like an item matching game. It's addicting. It's very addicting. Yes, it is. Oh, see, look, see what, she did it. look what she did. Oh, kill the slug, kill the okay, slug, kill the slug, kill the slug. Kill the slug. How the game works basically is that you have to match items with um, the other matching items. So you match items and then it sends it to the fiends and then the fiends attack the slugs. <laughs> and in appreciation of mothers around the world, I'm gonna put my leg down so I don't look like I'm missing a leg. <laughs> on 5-8, they are doing a special prize if you play the game on 5-8. So we have to play on 5-8 and we get a prize. I'm gonna be good by then. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna download this game, but warning, it's highly addicting. <laughs> I've just been playing it hour after, after hour, hour. Day after day, but it's not addicting. Not addicting. It's just fun. Okay, now, Mom, it's time to put down the phone. I know, I want to keep playing too, but guys, we are doing the mom tag. Can Do you I know what that is? Can I go play later? <laughs> yes, but right now we'll do the mom tag. So I have to Be excited. So We're doing the mom tag. Okay. Number one, what was I like as a child? Brittany as a child. Brittany was always adventuresome. Mm -hmm. Could have lived by herself, but she was independent. Uh huh. She was always happy, always curious, and she loved to climb on everything. Yeah, I was like a monkey. She, I just wanna, if it was like a, a shelf, I wanted to climb it. Yeah, everything. You had to watch her 24 seven because she would climb everything there was to climb. And I think she was just trying to reach for the stars. <laughs> that's probably what was going. That's so cheesy. That's probably what was going on. Can I True, say? but cheesy. Number two. What do you think about me making YouTube videos? I think you have to follow your dreams. Mm. If that's what you're supposed to do. Make YouTube videos. That's what you do. Yep. If you're supposed to go become a doctor. Be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Whatever's in your heart. That's what you follow. Then you'll be happy. Always. You're like the best motivational speaker ever. I get paid a lot. <laughs> we only feed you, we don't really pay you. That's true. True. Number three, what is something funny that I did when I was younger? You were always doing funny things. You were always kind of a practical joker. You always wanted to go and find out what was the most exciting thing or hide something and go, I don't know where it is. But you don't have like a specific thing that I did that was funny? Your whole life was funny. Well, I mean, I split my lip open, remember? And I was that trying to wasn't kiss the... funny, that was disaster. No, but I was trying to kiss the boys in the waiting room. Well, yes, you had a split lip, and which we had to stitch up, and she was running around the emergency room trying to kiss everybody there, because, and she still had blood on her face, which looked really great. And yeah, I was wild when I was younger, and I got prudish as I got older. Yeah, the other parents were terrified, but that wasn't funny, that was scary. Okay, well it's... It was scary as a parent. Sure. Four, have you learned anything about makeup or beauty from me? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Basically whatever I get, she wants. If I find a conditioner that I like, she wants it, so. Oh, we have similar hair. Mm hmm And I don't have the time to research, and Brittany loves, she loves fashion design, acting, that's, that's her world. Yeah. And I think you feel better when you make yourself look a little better. It's like, oh, okay. I agree. Amen to blow dryers. Yeah. Amen. Number five, what is a weird habit of mine? A weird habit of yours. Let's see. 
you don't really have habits because you do things probably more routine than most people do. And but I don't, yeah, I don't, no, but I don't put the lids on things. That's well, a weird habit. You guys did that when you were little. If they would, have, I still do that. If they would have juice or whatever, they put it back into the refrigerator, and it would be empty. So when I go, okay, I got to make my grocery list. Okay, we got enough milk, we got enough juice, and when you come home from the grocery store, realize that you have empty cartons in your refrigerator, and you have to go back to the store again. Yeah. And uh, Brittany, when she was little. She would, you know, things go in the trash. I guess to kids it's fascinating to put things in the trash and she would use a fork or spoon and it always went into the trash. I mean, one time we couldn't find stuff so we went to the trash and we must have found a whole set of silverware that was in the trash. So I would throw away silverware. Okay, that was a weird habit. Yeah. I don't know if it was a habit, it was just something that... But I don't do that anymore. I just can't find silverware. Like, I have two forks in my house. Like, she's been visiting and I literally have two forks. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the rest. I have spoons, I have knives, I have two forks. And Brittany used to be absent-minded, now she's mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. She would be like, well, I don't know how people remember those things. <laughs> if you had to rename me, number six, what would you name me? We probably would have named her maybe her middle name, Louise. Louise. Her middle name is after Aunt Louise, who could not have any children, who loved, loved, loved children, and supported everybody's children with love and financial, everything. That's all she did was give. So I would have been named Louise. Good yeah, enough. Yeah, I think that's probably what it would have been. I would have been opposed to that. Louise is a cool name. Like, I like old-fashioned names, so I would be okay with being named Louise. Yeah, well, it's, it's more like from, like, okay. Little House on the Prairie time. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, when I go out to eat, what do I order? She loves salads. I do. I'm loves, like a rabbit. Loves, loves mm -hmm. salads. It's true. If she can get salads, that would be just, oh, uh, she's in heaven. But I like croutons and I like avocado and I'm yeah. very specific about the salad. Like yeah. I want organic, fresh, yeah. like some sort of sustenance to it. Not just like lettuce. It has to be like, uh, like a, a piece of art salad. Exactly. A work of art. A piece of art? Does that work? It's a piece of art, work of art. I think, I think it's, it's work a, of art. It's a, it's a play on words. Okay, it's fine. Number eight. What is one thing that you wish that I would do? That I wish Brittany would do? Be more patient. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> she has so much that goes on. I'm hyperactive. It's not my fault. Yeah, yeah. She's just very go, go, go. And patience comes. I always told Brittany life would be better if you could be old first and then grow young because you'd have all the wisdom, you'd have everything that you need to find what you're looking for it's true. all that time. So it's that's true. what I always tell Brittany. I'll work on it. Number nine, what is something that I do that annoys you? I think you just work too hard. So that annoys you because I work too hard? Because or I, it irritates you that I work too hard. Well, I want you to take care of yourself and you work all the time. You work very, very, very hard. And as a mother, True. I want her to slow down and take care of herself. But I just want you to have enough rest. Okay, I'm working on it. Lately, I've been going to bed at like nine since she's been here. Well, I'm here. What else can you do? I've been tired. <laughs> what else can you do? You know, the mom comes. It's like, okay, mom's here. I gotta go I know. But it's been good. I've been getting sleep while you're here. I'm working on it. Okay? That's exactly right. Working exactly. on patience and getting sleep. Number 10, what is something that I obsess over. She obsesses over being the best at her career. I want to get better all the time. Do the it's so best true. And to never disappoint anybody. I know. I don't okay. want to put out videos that you guys don't like. It's so true. Yeah. I don't want to just put out something does. simple. She wants to kill herself trying to make the very best she could possibly make and to make her audience happy and everybody oh. happy and make them cheering and just you know no because i like i love what i do and i want to do it forever so that's so true well, she wants you know to, me so well. well she wants to make everybody's day better that's what she wants that's part of what she gives back she wants to give all the time so good number 11 where would you like to see me in 10 years yes that's right settled <laughs> as far as I think sometimes in life we have to have certain things that come along that settle us in the next direction we're supposed to be and we we have to find I was told a long time ago we search only for two things in life and that is intimacy and meaning and that's what we spend our entire lifetime looking for and that's what everybody searches for so when you find that you find your peace you 
find your happiness. And whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter because you have peace and you have happiness. It's true. So that makes everything incredibly wonderful. And as any parent, you just want your child to be happy because a mother is only as happy as her child is happy. I'm happy then, so you're happy. That's right. Yeah. We're all connected. This turned into like a therapy session. I like it. Well, you know, I'm a mother. I'm learning so much about what I need to do with my life. That's right. And then she can watch this over and, and, over, over, and, and over, over and over and over. You know, sometimes it takes a while for yeah. to soak in, right? Number 12, when are you most proud of me? I'm always proud of Brittany. Always. Thank which, you. Which is interesting. Um, I think as a parent, you know, what parent is not proud of their child? They're proud if they go down the swing slide everything correctly. You know, they don't the fall off. The swing slide? Well, to me, it was like, you know, <laughs> is there a swinging slide? Maybe so. I don't know. Maybe but just like, go down the, they're on the swing or go down the slide. Well, you, you wanted to separate it, right? But it merged. But see, when you put all words together, you don't have to say as much. Well, that's true. It's People just have to figure it out. It's like a puzzle. It's like, you know, super califragilistic. Expialidocious. See, what a long word. But if you shorten it all down, it's easy, right? We watched the Sound of Music while she was here. So that's probably why that's fresh well, in your we brain. we watched Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. We watched Sound of Music. And yeah. Maybe it's the whole... We were having a Julie Andrews marathon. But I think it's the whole mother thing. Yeah. You, know, you start to watch things that are family and happy. And, you know, they always have good endings. So, of course, you want to watch those. Number 13. What is the worst thing I've ever done? Worst thing that you've ever done, um, probably bit your brother. Oh yeah, I did bite him. And we were playing with the Hot Wheels. Yeah, and that's the like, only time I got spanked in my life. Yeah, she was just. <laughs> I think that, that he had something that she wanted, and how he, she, went, he had the pink Corvette Hot Wheel, and he wouldn't let me play with it. So I just took his arm and I bit him, but I bit it to the point that he was bleeding. You saw my teeth marks, like on his arm. Yeah, yeah. So she got in big trouble for that. I got one. spanked. Yes, yes. So, yes. so that was my worst moment. Yes. yes. I don't bite anymore. So that's good. no, no, no. You know, just, I have all my shots. That's right, that's right. You know, we've got them all. Rabies, you name oh, it. We've done, we've done them all. That's so true. Number 14, what is your favorite moment of us together? Every moment. We always have fun. Yeah, we don't really good. have like a favorite moment. Yeah, like I just, just, I just hate do. anytime she leaves or I'm not with her. Like, well, that's, that's the hard part. I never rebelled. I don't know. My mom's cool. Like I never needed to rebel or whatnot. She, just she has to say that because we're in But I didn't. Did I ever rebel? No. See, didn't. I'm telling the truth. No, you didn't rebel. Oh, someday. No, we just we just let Brittany follow her dreams and we supported her dreams. So maybe she didn't have an opportunity to rebel because we supported what she wanted to do. Because you're good parents. So maybe that's, you know, who knows? Yeah. Maybe that's a little bit how it works. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Number 15, how was I in school? Oh, you were an A student and your teachers loved you. So I you was did. teacher's pet. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she probably got more hall passes than But uh, here's the thing, I didn't suck up to people. I just did all my homework and yeah. they would just trust me. They'd give me the extra passes they didn't care. Yeah, and so I think that she figured, oh, just be nice to them and sweet and I can get all the hall passes. No, but I just liked school. I was a nerd. I'm still a nerd. I liked school. I liked learning. I liked getting A's. Well, that's competition too. She I'm wanted, very competitive. Yes, yes. She wanted to, to be the best. So That's yeah. true. Two more questions. Number 16. What would you change if you could raise me again? I think, what would I change? Um, I think that, um, boy, that's a hard one. That's a hard, yeah. You know, it's such a hard question because... There's probably not one thing, there's many things, but maybe there's nothing. You never, I think with each experience that you do, there's always like, well, what if I did this? What if I did that? It's like a science experiment. What would be the outcome? But I think if you look back, most people go, no, I mean. Because it makes you who you are. So what, yeah, what, what just, would you change? It's, 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 a hard, not, it's a hard thing. You know, maybe times I wasn't as patient as I should or whatever, you know, those moments. But the, if you put it into a perspective of the whole situation, you, that's the experience that you have together. Yeah. So it was fun, it was exciting, it had its sadness, it had its happiness, it had everything it's supposed to have. And it was life. Well, in a way, yeah, it is because that is life. Yeah. So as far as changing, I don't think so. Because, Good. You know, I have you. Come on, better high five. I, I have. Wait, you have to keep your hand flat. You don't try to grab it. <laughs> that's, that's about how good I am at this, you know. I garden. Okay, and last question, number 17, describe my perfect type of guy. 
The perfect guy has to be honest, mm -hmm. has to be kind and caring, mm -hmm. has to be smart, uh -huh. um, has to be, I think, peaceful within himself so he's able to go forward with both of their lives. He has to be, I think she says, has to be tall. Yes, because I'm so tall. I'm yes. so sorry. I need someone like my height or taller. Because she likes to wear her taller shoes. I do. Yes. I like my heels. I have yes. to be able to wear at least two inches, right? And I think that person, her ideal guy, has to be funny. Mm -hmm. Not that he has to be funny all the time, but a sense of humor. Because yeah. Laughter is what brings happiness. Because if you can laugh about things, and if you're gonna spend your life with someone, like looks come, looks go, but personality always stays. So if someone can make me laugh, I'll love them forever. That's what's on the inside, always. How do you think that my mom did? Give this video a thumbs up if you think she should be in more videos, because yes, I think she should. And say hi, Barbara, in the comments. So make her feel welcome. Are you doing your... Oh. <laughs> elbow, elbow, no, it's elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Aren't you supposed to throw candy or something? That's for bribes. That's like when you bribe people to like you. Well, I want to go to New Orleans where they throw those like necklaces. But no, there. but if they throw the necklaces, you usually have to flash yourself. Wait for them to throw the necklaces. They don't just throw them. That's no good. <laughs> they don't just give you beads. You need to do something for the beads. Oh, you have to earn your beads. <laughs> Kids, do not go out in life and earn your beads, okay? Don't no. do it. No. And no flashing. Okay. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the moms around the world and to my mom because she's amazing. I love you. And um, what do you want to say to them? Anything? Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there because you know what Mother's Day is all about. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, Melting, love you. Love you. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>